Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Redefining Internal Audit. So I am getting a lot of the queries from various CFE aspirants that how to register into the CFE course. So there are so many doubts I, I normally used to get on my number that's why I thought I should prepare a video and I have committed to you also that uh, I'll prepare a video in which I'll be guiding what kind of membership we have to take, what are the different steps we are supposed to follow. Though in our channel I have already shared so many thoughts on the uh, on how to register and how to proceed for the CFE. So again in this video we will be talking about various things like uh, what are the different steps you are supposed to follow while you are going to register for CFE membership. Before I touch upon that let me just go to our channel this is redefining internal audit and in this channel this is redefining internal audit. And in this channel, we use, I have already shared so many other videos related to CFE, be it CFE examination tips. So with, with the very important point is the CFE examination tips. In this video, I have shared about what are the different things you should keep in mind before writing for the exam. In, in, during the course of uh, uh, return to the examination, you are also supposed to take care of all of these points. Yeah, I strongly recommend each and every person to go for this video before attempting the CFE exam. Apart from this, there are various uh, topics on which I have prepared the video and shared for all of you. Like this is related to the adversarial process and inquisitorial process, related to the module 2 law. And then similarly, there is common law system and civil law system. We have discussed certain things about the instrumental and normative perspectives and all and similarly there are other videos also so you can go through those videos these will be good for knowledge right so now without taking much time let me discuss about how to register into the CFE course so this is what we all need to understand so the main point is to, to become a CFE the first step this is the first step to become CFE whenever we are talking about CFE what are the different steps you are supposed to follow and most of the aspirants face problem face trouble in selection of which membership they are supposed to take so in this video i'll be explaining all of those things so whenever we say about write a c write a cfe exam the various things you are supposed to do first thing is that you have to become the member you have to become member member of what member of ACFE, member of ACFE. ACFE is the Association of Certified Fraud Examiner. Uh, this is the, you have to first become the member. Second, you have to study. You have to study, you have to prepare for the exam. The moment you will be ready to write the exam, you feel that our study is enough, I am ready to write the exam, then you can enroll for the examination. You can enroll for the examination. Just for your, just for the sake of your knowledge, let me just tell you, the uh, membership fees cost will cost around 60 US dollar to 70 US dollar and the enrollment for the examination will come to around 450 US dollar, right? So this will be approximate cost, 450, right? And once we are done with all, the, all of these things, we can write, we can appear into the examination. Now the main point is how to enroll into the, how to become member. So that is the important thing which all we, we need to understand and that's why I am preparing this video, right? So let's let's go back to, let me just open the main screen. First of all, what you need to do, you have to just open your browser and you have to open the acfe.com. This is the acfe.com, right? This is what you need to do, acfe.com, www.acfe.com, you have to open and you will be finding this page there, right? In this space, in this space, you'll be finding there is one column called sign in. So just click this sign in, just click this sign in and this space will automatically get opened. This is the Association of Certified uh, Fraud Examiners, email address, part of This is, if you have already created your account, you can just simply enter your credentials and you will be able to enter into it. Otherwise, you have to create, you have to click here, create a new ACFE account, right? So the moment you will click here, and the another page will get opened right this will take you to the how to create your account in this account you in this page you have to fill, fill all of the details like first of all you have to select your uh, prefix for example mr or mrs 
then you have to enter first name, middle name, last name, organization, title, blah, 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 all of these things you have to click, you have to mention, you have to, at last you have to click, I am not a robo, and uh, then you have to click any of these if you want to get any notifications from the institute through email or uh, through mail, you can simply click it. But the important point here is what out of all of these columns, which are the columns which you need to mention. I just simply suggest wherever it is mandatory to mention. For example, all of the field which are marked with star, those columns, those points you need to mention. Like the first one, it is there. You have to mention the first name. Middle name is not important. Surname is important. Organization you can simply skip. And then you can skip the title and all these things. Address is mandatory. You have to just mention the address. You have to select the country and all these things. Right? So all of these things, any column which is mentioned with the star dot, these are mandatory field we should follow. Right? So without taking much time, let me quickly take it. Uh, once we are done with it, click on I am not a robo and then you continue. Right? The moment you will be able to, the moment you have uh, entered all of your details, you will be getting a page like this. Your account creation is successful. Account creation successful. Right? A link will be sent to your email ID uh, that you can set up your password and access your account. Right? So once we are done with earlier page, the moment we have filled up entire detail continue, you will be getting this prompt on the website, on this page itself and you will be getting an email also. In this email, you will be, you, the email will sound, sounds like this. You recently created an account of acfe.com to access your account and set up your password widget this. So you have to click this link, right? The moment you will click your link this, your this page will open. At this point of time, you have to create your password for your ACFE account. This is just a password to enter, to log in into the ACFE website, right? So you have to just select your uh, characters and blah, blah, and then, then you have to select uh, new password, confirm password, and the moment you will be submit, you will be getting the message like this. Your password has been successfully changed or created, right? Similar process you can do if you have you have already registered and you forgot about the password, you can reset it also, right? Once your account is opened, so we have actually created an account. Till now, we have not taken the membership, right? Then we have to open again acfe.com, right? I, we have to just again open the acfe.com. We'll go back, we'll go to the sign-in page. We'll go, go to the sign-in page and uh, on in this page, you have to just use your login and password and then you will be on this page and you'll be able to see your name here. I have just created a dummy name. You'll be able to see your uh, name here and in this way your account is created, right? Now moving on to the membership portion. You have to click membership and then there are membership, right? This page will get open. You have to click join now. After they join now, they will be asking about certain information already have an account no kind of that new to the acfe your email account address and then you will be you have to submit it right or you have to just simply sign into your account you have to sign into your account so let me just sign in into it uh, whatever the id i have used yes so in this way you will be able to log in into your account now we have to go for the membership we have to select the membership so it's the important point the moment you will be logged into your account your name will be uh, coming here like the rahul Garg name is there so you have to now select the membership so first of all the very important point is you are supposed to select this membership general associate membership this is a membership which is applicable for most of us but if you are a student you are studying in a regular college or school you are studying then you can take this student associate membership but you have to take certain documents from the respective university and there are so many clauses around it you can go through this uh, section and if you are eligible for it you can go for it right so you have to you have to simply select general associate membership the moment you will select it it will show either you would like to go for electric membership or standard membership so it's better to go for electric membership you don't need to go for standard because standard charge is a little bit high sorry electronic membership we have to select and then we have to select auto renew and the manual 
the moment you will select uh, manual the charges will be $70 if it is auto renew you will be able to save $10 and the fees will be $60 right so you will be saying sir if we will be going for this then it will be automatically get renewed and your payment will be get deducted from your credit card I understand your concern although though it is suggested that we have to become a member through our, throughout our life once we become CFE and it's good also but if you would like to discontinue your membership at any point of time you can simply log in into your ACF account and you can disable it right so uh, nothing to worry about the years to come you can simply select this auto renew otherwise the fee will be $70 the moment you select auto renew this will be $60 and that's it in this way you have to now you have to apply online right so you have filled up and now it's the time you have to fill up you have to fill up all of your details like again your email address your phone number again whatever the column is marked with star you have to mention it phone type is it your personal phone blah 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 and in this way you will be able to fill it up and all this details you will mention the moment you will enter all of these details this this will take you to the payment page and then you can uh, you can use your credit card before uh, entering your credit card details make sure your credit card is valid for international transaction this is a problem i am getting so many students have approached to me sir we are trying to register into the acfe but uh, the payment page is not working actually the problem normally doesn't happens doesn't belongs to the payment page but also majorly happens because of our inability our card care cards inability to process it right so make sure your credit card is able uh, is uh, enabled for international transaction so once you will be able to do this then you will be you will be considered as a cfe member right so as i mentioned in earlier the moment we have we are done with the the moment we are done with the membership then it's the time to study you have to study you have to prepare for the exam and then you can write the exam i believe this video i have all uh, taken it very fast so just to save the time so i hope you have get very much clarity about how to use the acfe portal and how to become the member what membership you have to select and what's the different steps to follow right as far as examination enrollment is concerned and the moment we say enroll for the examination as far as this section is concerned i try to prepare another video for your guidance right so that's all for today's video hope the video was useful in case of any query you can be in touch with us anytime we are available at our email id that is redefining redefining ia internal audit at gmail.com gmail.com or you can whatsapp us at 93113 20114 for any kind of the guidance and support related to the cfc cfc i'll be happy to answer your queries so that you will be actually enjoying the a uh, right path to the cfc course and you will become a cfc and also enrich your career with the feather of certified product examination for a certified product examiner certification right thank you so much guys see you in the next video bye bye